So now it is up to you to go to your fourth dimensional self and define what actions would I be taking if I were the person who had $10,000? What would be my feeling state? So now when we're in our fourth dimensional self and we're practicing imagination, we're practicing faith, we're practicing prayer, meaning a feeling state, this is what we're doing. We're assuming the state. We are not begging. We're assuming the state of the $10,000 already being in our possession. How do we do that? When we're going into our imagination, we're defining what are my actions as a person who has the $10,000? What are my feelings as the person who has $10,000? And this is what we're visualizing. What are my beliefs as a person who has $10,000? This is how you quote unquote fake it until you make it not the other way around. You don't go out and start buying things you don't have money for. You don't go out and start uh, taking the action on buying a brand new car when you don't have the money for it. Even if the $10,000 is for a car, you don't just say, well, I'm just going to go out and buy the car. No, you take action in your imagination. You assume the feeling state in your imagination or your visualization or your scripting, your prayer, your faith, whatever you do, whichever one of these techniques you use, you assume the feeling state of the person who has it already. And then your beliefs, same thing. You're going to be the person, define your beliefs of a person who has $10,000 in their possession. In time, of doing this, you will receive what we call an inspired action. Now, an inspired action is different from any old action. For those of you who journaled with me on yesterday, I did the journaling exercise and my inspired action was to create a bundle deal with my book as well as my journal. That came to me during meditation, okay? I immediately went to my website and created the bundle deal for the journal, for the journal and the book. It is very important that you follow Inspire Action quickly. Some people think that it takes a long time to get to the solution, but not always. That's not always the case. There are times where I have gotten out of my 3D dimension, went into my 4D, and soon was the person experiencing the new reality state. Now, the question is this, am I the same Stephanie that has the problem? No, I am not the same person because I have become that which I say I am. And this is how you manifest. You become that which you say you are. How did I become it? I became it in my imaginations. I came here in my feeling state, in my imagination, in my visualization, in my scripting, in my prayer state, in my speaking faith, having faith, in my fourth dimensional self. I became the person who has the $10,000. And now I have shifted to a new reality. See, I'm no longer the person here. That person is still over there in that old reality. I'm no longer this person because I became that which I said I am in my imagination, in my thoughts, in my beliefs, in my actions, in my feeling state, in my imagination. And now I'm living the reality of the person who has $10,000. 